Welcome back to part four of my Herbert of Vermandois game. In the previous part, we said goodbye to our first character, and we are now Count Ude, the second of Vermandois. We have one daughter, actually. Uh, we got her married matrilineally to this fellow with Herculean, and our grandson had Herculean, so that's nice. We have that going for us. Um, our wife is 37. We're 37 as well. No sun yet. We still have, you know, a, a little less than a decade left of uh, fertility with our wife. I'm currently seducing her. I'm thinking of not doing that <laughs> now. Um, young Maurice being born makes me kind of want to play through my daughter here. It would be nice to have more kids as a backup. Uh, but we might just get that automatically, so I think I'm just going to let this one go, actually. Uh, maybe we can start getting one of our vassals to like us a little bit more. Yeah, let's go ahead and put him in here. And we'll just start swaying a vassal here. So we're currently trying to work our way up. Obviously we want to be an emperor eventually, restore the Carolinian Empire. But we need to find something to do in the meantime, and I think what we're trying to do right now is just get this claim from the Pope on this young Duke's land here. He's got so much land inside the Kingdom of France that I'm thinking if we become Duke of Champagne, we'll be able to uh, claim liege title. This one. We need 31% of the counties that make up the tier of this title, and that definitely looks like about a third of the kingdom at least, if not more. Eh, it's actually pretty close. Either way, it's going to make us a lot more powerful than we currently are if we can manage to do that. So I'm going to try to resist taking money from the Pope when it pops up. Hopefully I don't just do it instinctively, because I often just do it without thinking. Because uh, we're trying to get the Pope to like us a little bit more right now. If we didn't have this negative from requested gold, we might have already done that already. So we're trying to get this to go up over time. This guy unfortunately didn't get any sinful traits. I don't think there's anything really we can do about it. We could eventually ask for him to be excommunicated. Doesn't seem like the Pope's into the idea right now, though. We're raising both of our nephews in the time being. I don't think we really need to take stress to change their traits, though. Just kind of doing it to do it. Uh, since we don't have too much else going on. And if our backdooring the Duchy of Champagne here doesn't work. We're, I'm just going to continue expanding um, against this Countess right next door here, actually my cousin. Thing is, she's married to the Duke of Flanders. And I'm still just not certain that this is, like, really doable for us right now. There's a lack of alliances due to a lack of children, so we don't really have much to go on there. Uh, I'm just worried that, oh, no, 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 no. He's sickly. Good thing he's Herculean, though. It doesn't even show up here? Whatever. Should I just do this? <laughs> I just gave up the event to become her lover. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go for it. Oh, she said no. Okay. I guess we're just destined to be friends. Yeah, with any luck, our daughter will just actually end up having uh, some more kids uh, backups for us anyway. If we do end up having a son with our wife, then he's overwhelmingly likely not to have a trait. Where our grandson is already much more powerful with Herculean. So this guy right here, this kid, this punk, is telling me that I need to send him my hunchback nephew. And that's not really a thing that we do, so I'm going to say no. He might actually just be interested in declaring war on me. Yeah, he does have a claim on one of my counties here, so... And again, he's much more powerful than me, because everyone's much more powerful than me, because we kind of just missed the boat here on the early expansion. I was allied for too long, where I shouldn't have been. So what do we got here? I don't really have anyone good at this right now. Um, well, she's the one that we just got caught cheating, but let's just get her married anyway. Maybe that'll make her, that'll shame her into giving up her lover. Uh, this guy's French, and he's got 26. That's amazing.
Women who are in houses who are still childbearing age are really great at getting characters in your court. This guy is incredible. Definitely happy with that. Uh, really young, too. Ah, we got it. Okay, <laughs> so he's got a claim on my capital. I've got a claim on his duchy. He's still much more powerful than us. Where's your alliance? Auvergne. The Duke of Auvergne. That's 1500 right there. So he's like three times as powerful as us with his alliance. And he's got about the same amount of gold. Uh, and now that he's pissed off at us because we claimed his title, he might actually be more inclined to do that war. At least maybe in a couple of years when he is an adult. So there is a little bit of reason to be scared. We don't really have much children to get alliances in a pinch if we need it. I'm not sure this will actually work. Our grandson? What just happened? Okay. <laughs> Speak of the devil. So this guy is sick of our claiming his title. Uh, and he's declaring war for our county. We we don't get game over it if we lose this, but it would be re it would be really sad. It would be really really sad. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, this, this is bad news. We should not have antagonized him. So immediately uh, we can negotiate an alliance here with my cousin. I think that we have to do that. There's just no, there's no other way. I am going to raise my army very quickly here. I'm assuming that they're just going to walk into me, so let's kind of get away from here a little bit. And then we have to call her into the war. So, 1200 me, 1700 her. We might be able to take him. Uh, and if we can take him, it's going to be before Auvergne joins the war, because he will join the war. He's in a couple wars of himself now, though, so his troops might not come and help. That's actually huge for us. Our only child is already married. There's no alliance to get there. This guy, I'm not sure actually. Uh, sort by alliance power. This is a city. 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 Yeah, so those aren't like real alliances. Uh, so there's nothing really that we can do there. I'm not sure why Sickly doesn't show up here. I guess just because he's Herculean. It would be very sad to lose him to Sickly. It's just like random bad luck. Now I wouldn't mind her being my lover. <laughs> it's probably going to take too long to seduce her and have a kid. That's going to be like at least a few years. So I don't think the uh, the alliance is going to be made in time. Okay, that sucks. If we fight together, I think we have a chance. If we get engaged before, then I think we're screwed. So I'm just going to run him all the way over the map. We need to get together here. Yes, there we go, there we go. Yes, excellent. Let's try to fight in our capital if he's willing to. The Shield of Paris. I've never seen that before, actually. Stalwart warrior who is beloved by the people of his capital. He kind of looks like a drunk asshole to me, but I don't know. Greedy, stubborn. Okay, anyways, do we want him to have more opinion of us? Yeah, sure, why not? So he's not interested in fighting all of a sudden when our army's actually stacked up. So I guess we just go straight for his capital. And we do have all this extra gold just in case we need mercenaries. He's going to lose this claim if he loses the war. White piecing this is as good as winning it. If I need to, I will white piece it. What did she do? Actually, I, I didn't even pay attention. Not sure. Uh, this guy's still a kid, I believe. We could just capture him here. Okay, let's go fight him. That's a lot, though. We captured his heir. Uh, let's just see how this works. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, okay, there we go, there we go. Yeah, I think we got him. Only 80%. Okay, and then what's this? 
So this is the guy, he's declared war on our liege. He's in theory the guy helping Champagne here, but uh, he's a little bit busy with his own wars. I guess we just go keep sieging. This is also in his capital county here, so let's go get that. Yeah, this was looking dire. Good thing that our cousin was willing to ally with us, even though we were already in the war. Six months. No way. We got you. And I might actually just go in and declare war on this guy right away. So he's paying 326 to us. That's a lot. We got 741 gold now. He loses his claim. He's now in negative. We have this alliance set up. And then we just come in here and press our claim, I think. His ally is still busy. His army just got smacked around a little bit. He's in debt. Uh, I'm just going to let this heal a little bit here. Let our men-at-arms heal up. Bowman. Okay, let's give it another month. Uh, I guess we could... Free these guys first. Okay. All right. A little bit of extra pocket change there. Our men at arms all healthy now. His army's still healing. Yeah, let's just get him while he's on the uh, back foot here. I think that we should be able to do this. We're going big time. Calling our ally in. I think we still probably need our ally. It's, how much does he have? 1285, 1180? We might be able to just go for it, honestly. I don't know where he'll raise up. Okay, so he raised up all the way down there. That's fine. But yeah, hopefully we can just capture him here. Win this, become Duke really quick. What do we got? Okay. Uh, our poor mayor passed away. Yeah, it looks like we put you in here. All right. Got your sword. Is it better than ours? Two prowess, two prowess. Destroying your sword. Oh yeah, we got you now. And it's his only duchy title, so he's going to become like a pretty powerful vassal of ours, because he still has five counties that we're not going to take from him. He's going to be pissed at us. Um, but this is going to make us a lot stronger, no matter what, so definitely worth Still no other kid from our daughter. Still no other kid from our wife. Um, yeah, Really hoping that we do not lose young Maurice. So he survived being sickly, which is good. I think I'll just give up on you so we can educate our grandson. And we'll just let someone else take care of that. This pregnant <laughs> cousin of mine is trying to seduce me. Absolutely shameless behavior. Okay, I guess we don't need to be looking at these two here anymore. Our nephews we don't care that much about either, sorry to say. We're just trying to convert their uh, culture. Three, two, one. A little bit more sieging to do. What's going on with you? <laughs> Losing four wars. Never a good sign. Well, you got a lot going on here. Up to no good. And excommunicated on top of that. I don't think we're worrying me. Oh, no, no, no. Why would you be doing this? Why would you be doing this? The King of France? 
Why? Why are you doing this? No. He's gonna get me. Why? What? I'm not... I'm not at war with you. We didn't... That didn't need to happen. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Super rude, man. Jeez. We have a good relationship, too. The Shield of Paris. What a dick. Anyways, go start sieging this again. Jeez. Alright, maybe I should have sieged something that had less fort level. Uh, whatever. We're committed at this point. So, I guess I'll go into Diplomacy with him. Uh, I think our Diplomacy is good, right? Yeah, we have Diplomacy Education. We got 22. Pretty nice. Hopefully I can pass on some good trades. All of my trades are pretty damn good. So I have to think that we'll be able to do that. Four months. No way you beat me. Okay, there we go. Slowly but surely, getting here. I might start actually fabricating some claims. It takes a long time to fabricate claims inside your realm, but uh, adjacent to your realm is quite close. So it's not, it's not going to last long, but while he's my neighbor, let's start fabricating a claim on some of his land. Because I'm going to want to like get more counties personally. We're at 2 out of 5. Um, but revoking is going to cause tyranny, and tyranny goes away really slowly in French culture, and you get extra tyranny as well, so you, you don't want to do anything really tyrannical. Unfortunately, our bishop sucks. It's another drunkard. Five learning. Come on, man. Um, but I guess, yeah, like, he's going to hate me anyway, so we might as well fabricate a claim on his land and take it from him. <laughs> it's adjacent to ours. And there we go. You thought you were taking my county, hey? Now I got your duchy title. All right, that's that's a pretty big come up right there. And claim leech title. Missing 586 prestige. Okay, we're not making that much. We're probably going to need some events in order to do that. Ah, or we just do this. Or they all... Um, we'll get two vassals given to us if we create this duchy title, Barry and Anjou. Well, this guy will become our vassal. How can we create that? Okay, I guess. And then just, oh, two here as well. Wow, those are all actually really, I guess we just make them all, yeah? He's just going to give me all of his vassals as my vassals. Yeah, we just make all of these. Screw it. <laughs> we only got one kid anyway, so it's all going to one person. I got four duchies and two counties. I don't think I've ever had that circumstance happen before, where I have more duchies than counties. That's wild. So he's going to start giving me vassals. It's causing him stress. Ah, that's that's not bad. It's going to weaken him because he's probably going to die prematurely if he's uh, taking all this stress. Another one? Who's that? I don't know. Be free! What? My sister? Uh, do I want to take her land? I, I do kind of need some land. She's going to rise up. Um, people who are in like a faction might join. Oh, one of them's her. It's just three counts. Okay, I'm not sure if they'll join, but let's just try it. Okay. So they do. 
call our vassal or our ally and then we get started on this my army is still weak like these they can beat me in a war <laughs> uh, I do have all this gold though that's why I'm not super worried about it okay that's a lot actually I, I might have okay 28 versus 33 eh. it's dicey if they can come into us Okay, we might have to just hire some mercenaries here and then go and fight them. That's what we got all this gold for, though. We can't even afford a second tier one. That's There's a huge difference in the military number, adding just under a thousand. So what do you got here? This is the biggest army here. Oh, you hired mercenaries too. Bowmen, pikemen, a lot of pikemen. This one would not be bad, but that's like 80 gold in debt right there. Okay, let's just go for it. Now they're running. Now they're scared. Okay, we can't capture them. But at least we got them off of it. Oh, nice. The Pope's going to bail us out. Thank you. So now they're making a break for our capital. Or if we get lucky, maybe they'll just siege our allies' land. That would be nice. Doesn't look like it. Four months, seven months. Ooh. I think we're okay. Okay, so we grab Diplomat. We've just started raising our grandson, I believe. Yeah, he just turned six. So having Diplomat and Groom to Rule, I'm content to leave here. And let's just go into Scholarship Focus. And we'll go for Pedagogy first. Try to get, get him as many stats as we can. We're all in on Maurice. Okay, this is not going fast enough. She's doing this. I'm just going to say no. Okay, let's go make the trip up here, hopefully. Do I make it in time? That's kind of scary. He's going to start to move soon? Yeah, okay, we, we got him. We got him. Nice. Oh, no alliance. This is the emperor, though. My cousin and his sister. I mean, okay. I don't really see the point if there's no alliance. But the AI seems to like doing that. Okay, back over here. Start sieging again. The reason why I want to do this is because I can just revoke from all three of these, and like we need land. We're at two out of five, and I can revoke one, two, three, and then we'll be holding five out of five at least. It's all split up. It's not like the land that I want, but at least it's something. Better than only holding two counties. Our income is just too low right now, despite our realm being kind of big. We went from two counties to all of, all, like, half of the Kingdom of France in, like, half an hour here. <laughs> it's not bad. Alright, there we go. And probably going to end up revoking all those titles. How dare you. And I don't think that, like we want to execute or anything like that. It we could do it, but I, I think that we just make them renounce the claims. Who are you? You're a capet. Renounce claims. And finally, you. Oh, you don't like me now, hey? See ya. And then we'll free you two. So we got some extra baronies here. This one and this one. So we'll just give those away. And now we're at 5 out of 5. Kind of spread out. What did we just get? Ooh, we got some seed weapons. That's perfect for me. So now we got 5 counties, 
four dot cheese. I am now the culture, no, no, excuse me, the um, dynasty head, finally, of Carling. We got control of that back. It's no longer this guy here. This Y-Grike, 2,900, 3,300. So we got it by a little bit, but it's, it's still kind of close. I am going to be continuing this on in the next part, though. Thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.